Hey, hit him. I dare you. And new tonight, this bus stop bullying video going viral online just hours after a mom posts it to Facebook. These are students at Stewart Middle School in Commerce City. And Denver 7's Russell Haythorn following this story. Russell, that mom is angry at how the school district responded. And she says it took them way too long to take action. We just learned the district has disciplined the two students involved without saying what that entails. Experts say repetitive bullying can have severe consequences. A bully at a bus stop. The video shows a bigger kid with a stick prodding and poking a smaller kid on a bench. And then the student recording the incident encourages the behavior. Hey, hey, hit him. I dare you. Similar bullying videos have gone viral online. The mother of the bullying victim in this case says this incident happened last Thursday. And the day before that, her son was, quote, hit by multiple kids with sticks and came home with welts and bruises. She says she's contacted the middle school and the Brighton School District 27J several times, asking them to address the ongoing issue. This afternoon, we learned the school district has taken disciplinary action against the two students. The mother says her son suffers from PTSD. PTSD and is enrolled in special education. Bullying expert Bethany Dillon says students with special needs are targets. Absolutely, bullying has a lasting impact on uh, on the victim, um, especially if they feel that their voice is not being heard in reporting, if they're not getting the help that they need through um, the school system. The victim eventually crawls further up onto the bench. He and another student off camera are heard saying stop or put it down at least 14 times in the minute-long video until the bigger kid finally gives up. Told us today they don't have the staff to provide routine supervision at bus stops, but they take bullying like this very seriously. The district says Stewart Middle School staff did everything appropriately. The district is meeting with the parents of that victim this Friday. Ann? Thank you.